<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have the results of the Rochdale parliamentary election. I, Steve Rumblow, being the acting returning officer at the above election, do declare and give notice that the number of votes recorded for each candidate at the said election is as follows. Christopher Michael Baxter, UK Independence Party, UKIP, 1,641. Simon Danchuk, 883. Jane Elizabeth Ann Howard, Conservative Party candidate, 14,216. Andrew John Kelly, Liberal Democrats, 4,027. Andy Littlewood, Greater Manchester Homeless Voice, 242. Anthony Joseph Lloyd, Labour Party, 29,035. The turnout for the election was 64.24%. Thank you. Mr Returning Officer, can I um, begin uh, both um, as a duty but also as a pleasure in thanking you and all your staff, those here tonight who uh, are always the untold, untold um, heroes and heroines of elections, and of course those who work throughout the day. Can I say thank you, to have a, a history of this, thank you to our police officers uh, who've kept the peace throughout uh, Rochdale t today. Um, we depend on our, our police service and I'm very proud of what they do for us all. Um, can I give very, very strong thanks to the members of the Labour Party who worked so hard during this campaign, some of them who have been fasting uh, and uh, of, of, of approaching the time when they need to, uh, to go and eat, so I'll try and keep my, my remarks brief. I, I would simply want to say this though, that the, the welcome I've received across Rochdale I think has been tremendous, uh, both for me personally, but actually for the, for the politics, the very positive politics that Labour has espoused. It's very clear that the people of Rochdale are rightly proud of this town, rightly proud of what Rochdale is all about, want a, a better voice, a stronger voice for the, the great things that Rochdale represents in so many aspects of life. And I am humbled, uh, genuinely humbled, with, with, with the, the, the duty, but, but the pleasure to fight for the people of Rochdale. But they've also made it very clear that they reject the, the politics of negativity. Those candidates who campaigned only on negative politics have been dismissed out of hand by the people of Rochdale, and that's good for politics. Um, they've also made it clear, though, they want to be better than the politics of austerity, which has done so much damage to, to this town, to its health services, its education services, its other public services. And I will be there to put the case for something better for this great town. Rochdale is a great town, a town of wonderful people. I've met many of them over the last few weeks. I honestly thought I'd be on holiday at the moment, so this election wasn't necessary, but this election has given the people of Rochdale the chance to say they want change. Um, I'm proud to be part of that change, and I'm proud of the people, those in this room and elsewhere, who made that possible tonight. So, Mr Returning Officer, thank you once again to you. And thank you to everybody who's made this election such a, a, great, uh, a great opportunity for the people of Rochdale to have their voice.